What's up guys, Max here, back with another how-to YouTube style video. Uh, not too long ago you might have noticed that we had one talking about capturing game footage, what I've been using in the past, what I'm using now for a variety of stuff. And uh, after that, the guys at Elgato contacted me, and they were interested in doing something to improve the quality of streaming, the quality of YouTube videos, and the overall quality of video production within fighting games and the fighting game community, and I would help them out as long as they'd help me out, and we have a special giveaway at the end of this video. Today's video is actually focusing on audio. Now, nicely, when you have audio, you can mend your audio with the game capture pretty well in editing. The big issue is not a lot of people are amazing at editing, and doing things like audio balancing can kind of be a nightmare for a lot of people. There's a couple of different technical components that are going to be involved in this video, as far as microphones, mixers, and these other types of things that go into this, and I'm going to show you guys what I have, but I'm also going to talk about what you might need as well. Sometimes this stuff can get pretty expensive, but other times you can make some pretty good decisions as far as a pretty decent USB microphone and stuff like that. But the idea behind this is that we can get the people that are watching your videos or your live streams to actively understand what you're saying, clearly understand when you're going to say it, and everything else that comes with having good audio, especially when it comes to using good equipment like this. So let me show you what I have. This first device is actually my baby. Uh, this thing has a pop filter on it, and it is, I believe, an MXL990 microphone. And it has an area where you can talk directly into it. And this giant arm is also a road arm that makes it easy for me to retract and move this thing any, anywhere I need to within my gaming area. But all these microphones and stuff like that are going to go into something that's called a mixer, which is over here. Ignore the wheat thins. This mixer uh, can take multiple different files as well as has a phantom power, a power source that actually activates the power of the microphones and the mixer. And you can easily tune and adjust anything in your audio, like the And we're back! Stuff like that. Uh, what's really good about this is that you're able to capture multiple signals and use all these signals within one source, and that thing goes directly into your computer via USB. The next one is this microphone, which is a Rode shotgun mic. We have it on a microphone stand down here. And this is what we primarily use for your video games. We point it pretty much right at us. And I'm talking into this microphone right now, but if I get back further and further and further and further and further, you can see that there's a little bit of echo when it comes to using this mic. So it's generally pretty good to be within like a two or three foot range for something like this. Now I can tell you the audio quality between these two is going to be a little bit different. For this microphone, the shotgun you're listening right now. And if we switch over to my condenser MXL microphone, which is good for broadcasting, it sounds a lot like this. A much different sound, and it really depends on what you're going for. I've always been a fan of like radio broadcast sound, so you get something a little bit different. Well, the big thing is, how do we take all these, all this information, all this settings, how do we get it from your game capture, your mixer, and the game footage all the way into your final video? So here we are, we've got everything hooked up, and the thing you'll want to focus on, especially if you are going to be broadcasting and recording your own voice at the same time, is this. If we continue the game, we're going to hear Killer Instinct and all of its audio glory. But if we want to include our own commentary without doing a lot of audio balancing and kind of a lot of technical stuff, Luckily, Elgato Game Capture HD comes with this, which allows you to activate your live commentary and to automatically reduce the game sound while the game is being played. So let's turn this on and see what happens. So now we're capturing audio through the Elgato as well. It's putting these onto a single track that we'll export later on in either an MP4 or a TS file. And most of these files you can use just fine in the majority of editing programs. But if I stop talking... The game audio naturally makes an adjustment. Now, audio can be a sensitive thing. Sometimes you have to make the, the wonderful decision of figuring out, do people want to hear what I'm saying, or should I have people hear what the game is saying? And luckily, with something that actually does the balancing for you in between, and if you want people to watch something cool like a cutscene while you're live streaming, well, the Elgato kind of does that naturally, and it does it for you. So, when you guys are trying to get ready for something like a stream, or something like making a YouTube video, there is resources within the, ga the Game Capture HD that actually allow you to do it all in one. Because for 
for the longest time, and I'm talking years, I would do this stuff externally. You can take your audio track that you might record audio with in a separate program or software. You have your video that goes from one source, whatever your capture device might be. Take that all into Premiere, take it all into Final Cut or Vegas, whatever editing software you, you have. Balance them out, make sure you can hear yourself, but at the same time you gotta render and export. And luckily you kind of have something that does it all by itself. And when you have the, uh, the final video track in the Elgato, you can choose a TS file or an MP4, which are common file types, and that can just go directly to YouTube, and you can make editing in YouTube. This is only assuming you guys don't want to deal with stuff like that. We don't want to deal with getting big programs and software and... You know what, I understand. It's expensive. And luckily, you have something that doesn't require you to do all of that. Let me know what you guys thought about this. If you have any recommendations or want to check out any of the products that are in this video, I'll try to find links to either my condenser microphone, the Rode microphone, a mixer, other cheaper microphones, as well as the Elgato Game Capture HD, you can find in the description below, and I'll put in the uh, the Amazon links. Otherwise, what are you guys looking forward to as far as how to YouTube? Are there other things besides the game capture and audio that you want an example of? Would you like me to do an example of how streaming generally works, or anything like that? I know a lot of folks have been asking about this stuff for quite a long time, and I'm kind of more than happy to oblige. And if you'd like to get your hands on an Elgato Game Capture HD, we're going to be giving away one in this video. Just leave a comment below saying, I want an Elgato Game Capture HD. Don't make any duplicates, they will not be acknowledged, and we'll be sending one out to a lucky winner later this month. Once again, guys, thank you a ton. Thank you a ton for watching, and leave a comment if you want to get your hands on one of these things. My name is Maximilian, and I'll see you next time.